Well, it's come to our attention that some of you wonder why we do Festival, festival Fest on Monday and not closer to the weekend. It's pretty simple. We want to make Monday more fun. Why be sad about the weekend being over when you can look forward to the weekend ahead? So there you have it. And without further ado, this week's Festival Fest. This was a poor choice. This was supposed to be a blow up bat wig for comparison's sake, but if I blow it up all the way, I'm gonna pass out here at Becker Farms. Tis the season, whatever season this is, cause it's October and I'm sweating. Okay, there's a part of me that doesn't wanna quit. That's one of my larger problems in life in general. Wait. You guys, we've done it. Are you guys gonna find my inflatable bat wig to be distracting throughout this festival fest? In case you're wondering, this was a birthday present. Let's get into it. First of all, big thank you to Becker Farms for hosting Festival Fest this week. And there is a lot going on here in the way of fall fun. They have their pumpkin fiesta going on until October 28th and a haunted hayride they claim will scare the yell out of you. I like it here already. Up next, two words, 10 letters that spell nothing but good times in Western New York. Meet Waffle. The North Presbyterian Church in North Tonawanda hosts its first ever October 19th. Gird your pork loins. If you're up for a little road trip, then you might fall in love with a fall marketplace that is happening on October 20th. It's a little more of a boutique event with 11 vendors setting up shop at the Kinswa Bridge State Park in Mount Jewett, PA. Meanwhile, the Buffalo Autism Project hosts its second annual Crawloween Bar Crawl in East Aurora. And while you're there, you can check out the opening of artist AJ Free show Child's Play at My Bohm Fine Arts in East Aurora. The Light the Night event illuminates Delaware Park October 19th to benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I think I'm supposed to pull it down farther over my ears. This is my first time. Oh, finally, I saved room for Chalk Toberfest happening at Resurgence Brewing Company. And that is Festival Fest, the greatest thing to happen to Monday since the three-day weekend. If you missed anything or you want more details on the events or more events, go to our website, WGRZ.com. See you next time. Just the straw makes it challenging. I thought it was the hat that made it challenging. That is a great look. You know what? I blew it up too much, and now it's really tight. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of looking like Maleficent. Right? Today. That's what I said. I good like call. it. Good yeah. call. I think I like it's that. good. Yeah. All right. So a meat raffle this weekend. Yeah. Do you know last, la I think it was last year, Patrick and I, I invited him. I said, oh, my, yeah. son's, my son's team was having a meat raffle. I said, hey, you want to come? He goes, no, I'm hosting a meat raffle that night. We were like, Three blocks away from each it other. Was, I had never Dueling been, and it was awesome. It was in Depew, I think, if yeah. I recall. But it was, they're so much fun. It was a daybreak meat raffle throwdown. It was. It's amazing. <laughs> there will be, there'll be stories written one day about that. I love this hat. I keep going. Let's show you the seven-day forecast where we've got uh, chilly rain showers uh, often uh, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Highs only in the 40s midweek. As my father used to say, the cool is loose. The cool is loose. <laughs> <laughs> and it has that nothing to do with Edward. That's right. Have a great day, everybody.